I studied uh, architecture in Madrid. I graduated of a six-year degree program in uh, the Polytechnic uh, School of Madrid. Allegedly one of the best uh, schools of architecture in the world uh, because of the, uh, the quality of uh, the teaching and the perfect balance between technical and uh, humanistic uh, uh, subjects. Eventually I came to the States and I studied the uh, master's uh, degree at Columbia University, uh, graduated in real estate development and finally I graduated uh, again from NYU in uh, construction management. The project uh, had many lives. Uh, it's a long process uh, from the inception of the uh, idea uh, until it got materialized. Uh, uh, it had different lives because Nancy and Giorgio were f trying to figure out uh, what was the, uh, the right uh, um, approach into this project. Uh, in this particular life, Magazzino has taken about four years to develop because uh, originally uh, the property uh, was uh, acquired uh, in the summer of uh, 2013 and uh, the ac acquisition was contingent uh, on the uh, possibility of doing an addition to the existing building. Magazzino meaning warehouse in Italian. It's a beautiful word, it's very powerful and it really rained uh, throughout the, uh, the design phase uh, of the project. The approach uh, on all the phases of the design is it's there and you can see the, the metal structure and uh, the uh, concrete in the skin of the, uh, of the new, uh, of the addition. Um, so um, all those elements uh, are trying to describe that, that idea as well. One of the things uh, that uh, we took uh, very uh, seriously was not to do architecture, to take over the space and to take over the protagonism. It has to do with that idea of magazine, but it also has to do with uh, Nancy and Giorgio's uh, request. Because uh, they were looking for a place where the art was protagonist of the whole atmosphere. So you have to make an effort in order not to let yourself go and be very quiet and make, a, make the space beautiful but uh, subtle uh, in its intention. Sometimes it's very easy to let yourself go and, and the architect has many ways to uh, to do this uh, with materials and, and, or with, uh, with the light, the way you work with the, with the natural light or uh, with shapes, obviously. So it was um, an intentional approach of, uh, of doing something very quiet that would uh, allow for, for the uh, art uh, to speak by itself. Obviously, we, we worked uh, with all these elements uh, and you will see how the modules and, and, and the repetitions and, and the grids that we use and the axis uh, of the main lines of the building are there. Always uh, trying to collaborate uh, with uh, the, the enjoyment of the art. You know, when you open a window, you're careful to do it. Uh, it's uh, subtle and it works uh, on, on the particular room or space where you're 
where you're doing that. The transitions, uh, like when you enter and you see the vestibule, that element uh, has a little bit more prominence because it's not uh, meant for the display of art. Um, you, you see how the, the material rolls out uh, to create a carpet that welcomes you into the space and then uh, develops into the courtyard uh, and uh, that same material is inside out. But uh, then when you enter the uh, gallery spaces, we, we try to make a very simple uh, canvas. We are, we are the frame uh, of the art.